Hey everybody, this is Tyson here with HHO for Life. Uh, just wanted to share another idea with you guys, imagine that. So, this time it's going to be a gas vaporizer. Doesn't really have a whole lot to do with HHO, unless you want to run your HHO through the gas vaporizer. Um, so that would work too, and it would definitely improve your gas mileage even more. Although you would just use the gas vapor to run your car instead of liquid gasoline. So either way, um, if you did use HHO, that would work. It increase the miles per gallon anyway. So here it is, guys. All right, let me get you a better view of this. We'll go full screen. Okay, this is my gas vaporizer. I got a few of these ideas from some YouTube videos that I have seen. I actually had this idea before I had ever seen any videos. Um, I had a neighbor in Arizona that ran his car off of a process similar to this. Um, he got about 200 miles to the gallon on his car. So he did use like HHO with it um, as far as what he did. Um, but he vaporized the gasoline and ran the hydrogen and oxygen into his engine that way. So he had a gasoline, hydrogen, oxygen, fuel mixture. Um, and that's how he was able to do that. But off of that and onto what we have here. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys are very familiar with how gas vaporizers work. Basically what you have is you'll have a tube connected to a vacuum line or your air intake on your engine. That tube will go down in here into your um, your your fuel tank, basically. Mine's going to be my own homemade fuel tank. I'm probably going to make it out of stainless steel um, tube, stainless steel pipe, some six-inch stainless steel pipe. Um, not sure yet. We'll figure that out later. But anyway, it's uh, the air intake. The hose is going to be connected to a bushing, which con is connected to the air intake which goes into the, the tank. Um, this right here is all the gas vapor. And then we have our liquid gasoline. And what happens is when, when you have a hose going down through the gasoline and it's connected to an air intake, the engine has to try to suck the air from something. So it sucks it down through the uh, tube that's going down into the gasoline, the tube from, that's extended to the outside air that's going down into the gasoline. And what it does is by doing that, it sucks air up through the gasoline, which agitates the gas big time and also um, creates basically a cold gas vapor, which is then sucked up through the tube into the engine. So that's how that works. What my design is going to have is first I'm going to have a bushing, as you see right here. Maybe you can see it. A bushing, bam, right there, attached to the air intake on an engine, okay? Then attached to that bushing is going to be a piece of high temp tubing. Okay, I think that's important because the tubing in your engines can get pretty hot and you would, it'd be good to have a high heat tolerance um, tubing so that it lasts longer. But that tubing is then going to be coming over here and attached into a barbed fitting that is connected to the, uh, the tank, the gas fuel tank. Um, now what we have here is this right here is basically going to be a smaller pipe attached to this larger pipe. I'm going to have a T and uh, have some smaller pipes attached into the T. So they're basically going to be four pipes coming off with holes in them. One going to the left, one going to the right, or if on your screen it might be right and left. Um, and then one going to the front and one going to the back. So that's how it's going to work. The, the smaller pipe is going to have a lot of small holes drilled through it um, so that you have a lot more volume um, of air flowing through the gas mixture. Then in my system what I'm going to have is an air driven turbine which has a spindle or shaft connected to it which goes to the outside and is actually submersed in the gasoline. And these are going to be like mesh blades that spin inside the gasoline which will create more gas vapor. So you're going to already have a ton of gas vapor because of the bubbles that are bubbling up through the gasoline. Then 
add on top of that the uh, turbine driven propellers basically um, or mixers and you'll have even more gas vapor produced so I'm utilize, utilizing all the resources I can on this to try to make the most efficient process. Um, so then it's going to go up through the tubing right here. And I actually will have the air filter attached right here onto the top of my tank uh, to, to help purify the air a little bit more and get those impurities out of it so I don't have all kinds of dirt being sucked into my gasoline. Um, so... I'm not going to have any air filters right here by my air intake. It's going to completely bypass that. I'll directly have the bushing attached onto my air intake. So yes, I will have to do some modifications in order to do that. And then the hose will be directly attached to that. So there's absolutely no outside air coming in right here at the air intake. All of the outside air will be coming in right here on the top of my tube that's going down into the gas and is submerged under the gas. That way. I can get as much bubbles through into this gasoline as possible um, so that I can have the richest amount of, of vapor. Um, so this will regulate itself for the most part because everything will have to do with the amount of suction that you're getting from your engine um, and the vacuum in your engine. So the more you punch on the accelerator, the more bubbles which are going to be created which in turn will create more gas vapor giving you enough to run your engine. So it's a process that will basically monitor itself. You don't have to do anything special unless you have a computer operated vehicle like a newer car um, because then you'll have to get a like a map sensor um, and then you'll have to override your computer and lean down the fuel that way basically to zero so that all you're getting as far as um, being taken into your engine is the gas vapor. So, let me go through this in a little bit better detail, okay? I have, I'll try to hold it still so that you can see it a little better. I have my air filter here attached to the top, okay? Which is attached to the tube, to the piece of pipe that's coming out of the gas tank. Then this piece of pipe is going to go down through the gas tank and be below the uh, level of the liquid gasoline. I will have the turbines right here, okay, so that is my air driven turbine, bam, right here, those things right there. If you've ever taken um, one, a vacuum apart, as far as the little handheld ones that you attach to the end of your hose on the vacuum, there's actually a little turbine in there that drives the beater bar for those small handheld little vacuums that attach to the hose on your your vacuum. That's kind of going to be the same concept that I'll have for these air driven turbines. And then what we have right here again are the blades that are submerged under the gasoline, the liquid gasoline. And it's going to be made out of a mesh type of a, a blade so that it'll really agitate the gas a lot when it's spinning. Um, and then here at the bottom I will have a T. So I'll have four four pipes coming off with holes drilled into the bottom of them. I know I show it on the side, but I'm actually going to have it on the bottom. Um, I had to do it onto the side just to make it so that you could see it a little bit better. And I know it's really crappy. You can't see it very well. But that's going to suck the air down through this gas, creating all kinds of bubbles and gas vapor, which is then going to come up through my gas um, vapor outlet barbed fitting. That will in turn go through this high heat hose or high heat tubing attached to the bushing, which is see high heat hose, which is attached to the bushing, um, which is attached to the air intake on my vehicle, and that is of course attached to your engine. So hope this helps everybody. Um, go ahead and throw your ideas out there, because as a group we can have better ideas and you know become more innovative and we can get this figured out so I don't have funding to build it yet once I come up with enough money um, I am going to build this and I'm probably actually gonna run um, some HHO through uh, basically what I'll have is there's gonna be a check valve here at the top for that and below the check valve is going to be where I have my HHO 
um, pushed here into the uh, the tubing. Um, so that way, that way, if the uh, it, it won't the check valve right here for the air in, where the air filter is attached is pretty much never going to be closed. But that'll prevent the hydrogen and oxygen gas from going up and escaping into the outside air. So. So I'll have a hydrogen boosted gas vaporizer driven engine. Um, so I will have a check valve right here too. Um, placed in line with the vapor outlet just to prevent a backflow this way. So once I get this designed a little bit better guys, I will go through it um, again in another video. And when I start building mine, I will record it so that you guys can see how it is done. I hope you liked it, guys. Um, again, this is Tyson with HHO for Life. Have a good one. Peace out. And make the world a better place together. Thanks. Bye.